We have now two nights of the vigorous activity in the newer option of the Reckoness Peninsula in the uh, sourcing. <laughs> This is the time that we expect a wall collapse happen and that wall collapse leads to creation of the lava tube over the spillage will create lava tube this is what we have seen in all the previous eruptions lava tubes will take over and that will continue for a while this is the only single remaining one lava tube remember is a hardened crust of the over spill uh, hollowed inside and work as a conduit for the next batches of the lava. This is the way it's created. At the moment, we have countrywide uh, gas pollution due to this extreme eruption uh, situation. And we, uh, we predict, uh, this is a forecast, which uh, shows that this uh, pollution will spread to the north of the Scotland and eastern parts of the Ireland. Uh, we have to wait and see. This is the latest uh, forecast that we have. The gas pollution, this is the sulfur dioxide mixture with the atmospheric water creates the sulfuric acid. And uh, also the spread of the lava is limited to what it was previously. So it's not going to anywhere, it's just staying where it is. It's deep enough in that area, there are enough hollows to fill up that area. It's relatively flat also, probably it doesn't go far beyond that uh, area that is already there. We had the GPS data showing some rise, but now it is again modified. And uh, those uh, showed that probably there is a chance of the magma accumulation starting for the next eruption. At the moment, those signs are all modified. We see that just emptying the down one, downward trend in all the GPS stations in the sourcing your volcanic system, except this one, HS202. We will see that this is the site to the south of the Schwarzenegger uh, power plant. Of course, the GPS data in the form of this interferograms shows some stress buildup. But we will see in the coming days how this will develop. Uh, we need further uh, data as they come and modify. This is what I, uh, IMO, Icelandic Meteorological Office, as a update has released for today. I've added more to that and also I've added material that was relevant to this and uh, you cannot find it in the, of course, in the uh, IMO's update, but they're available in the Icelandic Meteorological Office and uh, collaboration with the uh, University of Iceland Geology Group. You can see these uh, changes and uh, this update will keep up to the 25th of July, but that time we will uh, assess the situation and uh, tourists are advised don't go near the eruption site. It's a life-threatening situation, so people should not be near the eruption site. Also in those other areas, people with the breathing difficulty should not be outside.